gentlemen from Camp Han, California, we bring you a man who pedaled here all the way from Hollywood on the rear end of a tandem bicycle, Jack Benny. <laughs> talking. And Don, you can joke about it if you want to, but believe me, a tandem bicycle is the way to travel nowadays. You pull into a service station, the attendant checks your tires, wipes off your goggles, you stick your tongue out at the gas pump, and away you go. <laughs> you Rochester was certainly the funniest looking sight, cruising along the highway on that two-seated bike. <laughs> Funny looking. <laughs> yeah, Rochester in his chauffeur's uniform, and you in that, uh, oh, by the way, Jack, what was that weird looking thing you were wearing on your head? You looked like Buck Rogers. Oh, oh, that. Well, you see, Don, I've got a girlfriend that's a deep sea diver, and she lent me her helmet to keep the wind out of my eyes. <laughs> Darn nice of her, huh? My goodness, that's a pretty strenuous job for a woman, isn't it? Oh, she's rugged. <laughs> really is rugged. In fact, I took Myrtle. That's her name, Myrtle Minkelhopper. <laughs> Anyway, I took Myrtle to the wrestling matches the other night, and on the way home in the cab, she won two falls out of three. <laughs> Hello, Mary. Hello, Jack. Hiya, fellas. Whistle at me like you did outside. You're really popular here, Mary. You got a nice hand. That ain't all they're applauding, brother. <laughs> oh, yes, your figure is more alluring than the average top sergeant. I think. <laughs> Yes, indeedy. Oh, uh, say, Mary, I tried to reach you on the phone early this morning. I was going to give you a lift here to Camp Hawk. I wish you had, Don. I drove in with Phil and the orchestra. They chartered a bus. Oh, the orchestra boys took a bus, eh? Yeah, 18 wolves on a greyhound. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding, Jack. They behaved like gentlemen. In fact, they rehearsed their band numbers all the way down here. In the bus? Uh-huh. Boy, is my neck stiff from ducking a trombone. Well, you've got my sympathy, Mary. Phil's orchestra blasting away, and you and the driver had to sit there and listen. What driver? He jumped out the window In and... Pomona, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he couldn't stand it, eh? Well, who drove the bus, Phil? I mean, uh... I mean, who drove the bus, Phil? No, I did. Phil was up on the roof taking a sun bath. All right, so I made a mistake. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Well, well, a sun bath. What a character. Well, here comes the orchestra leader and head waiter of the Biltmore Bowl now. Hello, Phil. Hiya, Jackson. Well, here I am, fellas. Make off like I'm Kay Kaiser. <laughs> thank you, thank boys. You, thank you, and oh, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Pardon me. Well, take that again, will you, Phil? Like hi, y'all. <laughs> hey, that was some reception, eh, Jackson? Yeah, they sure love Kay Kaiser here. But I'll say one thing, Phil. You look good today. Your face is nice and tan. You like it? On the way home, I'm going to do my back. <laughs> Me, Maestro, when your boys were inside that bus rehearsing, why weren't you down there with them? Me? Yes, you. You're the leader. Don't you want to know what the boys are playing today? Look, Jackson, I just stand in front of them and shake a stick. When they're through, I stop. <laughs> oh, unless I had a bad night. <laughs> when you're honest, I'll say that. Oh, by the way, Phil, as long as you rented a bus, I think I'll load my bicycle on it and ride back with you and the boys. Bicycle? You mean to say you pedaled all the way out here on a bike? Why, sure. Over them hills? Of course. With your legs? Hey, just a minute. What's wrong with my legs? They look like they should be sticking out of a malted milk. <laughs> hey, Mr. Benny, on the way home, can I ride... Oh, hello, me? Dennis. Hello. <laughs> hey, Mr. Benny, on the way home, can I... Thanks, fellas. <laughs> Say, Mr. Benny, on the way home, can I ride in the bus with the rest of the gang? Of course, Dennis, certainly. Boy, am I glad to hear that. It was so windy coming down here, I could hardly catch my breath. Oh, it wasn't so windy. Don't tell me. I was sitting on the handlebars. <laughs> what of it? You had a nice soft cushion under you. Some cushion. Every time Rochester rang the bell, I darn near wiggled off. <laughs> Pardon me, I'll take it. Hello? Hello, oh, Mr. Benny, this is Rochester. Oh, hello, Rochester. Where are you? I went over to that garage in Riverside to put air in the bicycle tires like you told me to. Uh-huh. And I ran into a colored boy whom I haven't knelt down to a good crap game with in years. Uh-huh. Uh, Rochester, what are you driving at? Well, I don't know exactly how to phrase this, boss, but you know that nice, shiny bell you had on your bicycle? Yes. Well, I just won that back. 
What? The rest of the bike is in escrow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mean to say you lost my bicycle shooting craps? Well, I was lucky for the first three passes. Lucky? And then what happened? My dice went into a minuet and my opponent became suspicious. Oh, well, I don't care what happened. I want you to go to that garage and tell your friend to give you back my bicycle. Without paying for it? Yes, without paying for it. Now, just grab it. Now, wait a minute, boss. That boy's got a razor that does everything but run out and get the mail. Well, Rochester, what are you scared of? You carry a razor yourself. Yeah, but it's only a Gillette and I'm out of blades. I can't help it. Now, you get that bicycle and come over here to Camp Han. Goodbye. Oh, say, boss. What? If I ain't there in a half hour, send a jeep with a jug of new skin. Okay, so long. Here we are at old Camp Han in the state of California. And the guys here are so handsome, Heidi Ho and Ochacharnia. So far, nothing. <laughs> Go ahead, Mary. I met a boy right after lunch. He got me away from the rest of the bunch. He kissed me, then ran like a deer. If he comes back, I'll, I'll buy, buy him a beer. beer. That's about the silly as anything you've done this year. When he grabbed me, I near froze. But his aim was bad, and he kissed my nose. He kissed your nose? Yes. However, boys, I'm not complaining. He'd only had his basic training. <laughs> We're glad to be here, old Camp Han. Phil and Dennis, me and Don. What about me? And good old Jack, who is our clown man. And Virgil Reimer, world's best sound man. Virgil, you keep out of this. Jerk. <laughs> the end. Thank <laughs> you.